I started playing Escape from Tarkov just a few weeks ago, and honestly, I haven't stopped thinking about it since. It's a huge game and facing the mean streets, woods and factories of Tarkov is an undertaking that's daunting in its scope. Now, I am not a seasoned Escape from Tarkov player by any stretch of the imagination. I realise that I still have so much to learn. But in the few weeks that I've been playing it, I've realised that it is a game that punishes you for your mistakes. And that I, like so many other players out there, am guilty of one of the seven deadly sins of Escape from Tarkov. Every player wants loot. That's just a simple fact of life when it comes to the world of a hardcore looter shooter. Now, many Tarkov escapee are driven by that lust for a virtual firearm, suit of body armor, or brand new backpack. To some, the sound of a sniper rifle or automatic weapon is more of a dinner bell than a warning sign. The echo of a shot becoming a beacon as they turn their character towards it and hammer the sprint key towards the action. The craving for virtual gains and stacks of rubles can affect the mentality of a scav or PMC who suddenly become prepared to roll the dice for a shot at big gains. What may, on paper, seem to be an insurmountable assault against a trio of geared players or the map scav boss becomes oh so much more alluring when there's the chance of scoring valuable equipment. The potential for loss is easily eclipsed by the potential for gain for even the most level-headed of players. Sure, it may pay off here or there, but the tunnel vision that the lust for loot brings has been the death of many a bear and Yusek, as they relentlessly chase that high into the trees, losing all sense of patience until you're reminded of the fragility of your existence with a mosing round through the temple. <laughs> that thought will follow you through the respawns and into the markets of Tarkov, choosing the min-max approach of stripping your weapons to get the best deals from the in-game merchants and throwing yourself into the in-game flea market trying to milk every ruble, dollar and euro, all for a twisted dopamine rush as you continue to succumb to the lust for more ill-gotten gains. I, myself, am a loot pig. And I'm sure you either are one yourself or no one in your squad. These are the players that will dive headfirst directly into the corpses of freshly downed enemies and feverishly start dragging and dropping every morsel of loot into their inventory. Now I try to play in a way that if I'm with a squad and I get the kill, then I get first dibs of the loot. They can have what either I don't want or I simply can't carry. But the gluttonous loot devourers among us see a fresh corpse and all following of simple looting etiquette goes out the window. They just see the gear and want to feast. They run through Tarkov as if it's a war-torn all-you-can-eat buffet with the attitude of, oh, just a little more, one more bite, just another taste of loot. Now escaping with a backpack that is fit to burst is undoubtedly a great feeling, but the loot gluttons often go for the goods at the expense of safety and sanity. Their deaths come while they're neck deep in the gear set of a recent kill, waiting for a weapon box or safe to give up their goods, or struggling with a Tetris-like inventory management so they can squeeze that last carton of milk into their scav bag. One of the things I learned early on in Tarkov is that the loot really isn't yours until you escape with it, and that sometimes it's best to leave a corpse or weapon box unlooted if it means you can get out with your bounty. Bear in mind, a little profit is still profit, so don't be a pig now. Now this is a sin that I am definitely guilty of in Escape from Tarkov, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, although it does cause me some issues. Sometimes I try to look at my relationship with my inventory like a dragon guarding its mountain of gold, but I realise I'm not as majestic or as mythical, so I'm probably closer to a shut-in hoarder than I am Smaug. Regardless, if like me your inventory is fit to burst, then chances are there is probably a lot that could be sold or simply used. Are you really going to get around to using those 7 AKs? Why are you holding onto attachments for pistols and rifles that you don't even have? And what's the point in having a box full of Makarovs, but no ammo or mags for them? But I want you to know, I get it. I really, really do. There's something oddly satisfying about seeing your stash so full of potential toys to play with. The trouble is though, for me at least, they're going unused. I'm talking about gear fear. Maybe you got something incredible from a weapon case or took down another player and found a wildly kitted out rifle. So you take it back to your hideout, took it away safely in your stash, excited with your new find and then never take it out again. We've all done it, but while your gear is gathering dust, its potential is going to waste. Either sell it on the flea market to buy some kit you're actually comfortable with losing, 
or commit and use that fancy new weapon you were so excited to loot. Because when it comes to your loadout, Escape from Tarkov is about investing in your success. And honestly, you'll get what you pay for. Take ammo for example. Say you're heading into a raid with your nice AK-105 that you've pimped out with your favourite scopes and attachments, but you've cheaped out and bought the crappy ammo. That's going to get you killed as soon as you meet any armoured player or scav raider. And while it may cost tens of thousands of rubles to fill your M4 with high damage and armor penetrating ammunition, it costs four hundred thousand dollars to fire this weapon for twelve seconds. There are two things to bear in mind: the best offense is often a good offense, and sometimes you gotta spend money to make money. Escape from Tarkov is not a game that will let you get away with being lazy. In rather broad terms, it's an experience that requires preparation and information to its very core. If you're too lazy to tidy up that inventory and get some things organized, then chances are you're going to forget a key item in a raid. Grabbing a splint will slip your mind, or forgetting a bandage will leave you bleeding out after a scav clips your leg. God knows it's happened to me. And neglecting quests and failing to build up your hideout is going to leave you short on options after a long session. Also, you'll make crap or sad. You don't want that, do you? Map knowledge is also key, so take your time with scav runs or offline mode to familiarize yourself with your surroundings. The Tarkov Wiki is also a great resource when it comes to learning the specifics around weapons, armor, and ballistics. You need to take the time to get to know your kit if you want to go into a raid feeling like a walking tank. There are some players that aren't really in it for the loot. These wrathful players want the fight more than they care about their finances. This is the squad mate that's rushing through brambles causing a racket, clanking across metal walkways chasing a kill, or hurrying you along onto the next fight while you're organizing your inventory or reloading your magazines. Those that thirst for death or glory and charge into battle ill-prepared and with little thought beyond the kill, and are usually met with the respawn screen more often than they are fat loot. There also exists some sort of unwritten code of honor between scavs. That the objective is to work together against the fully geared PMCs so you can all get out with a little something something. Which is exactly why the AI scavs don't attack each other. But the wrathful players don't see an ally in the disheveled form of a scavenger, they're the ones that find it hard to resist clicking on the unarmored head of a mumbling Russian scrounger. Which again, is often a route to demise as the other nearby Kalashnikov carrying collectors swarm in your position. And while many enjoy the pursuit of combat, be careful that your fury does not go unchecked. For down that path leads those to become the worst of scum and villainy. The dreaded exit campers. There are many elements of Tarkov that can leave its players with a green hue of envy. Whether that's towards another player's items, bank balance, or at times, even their skill level. You may have even felt a pang of guilt when teaming up with a friend, admiring their weapons and equipment, while a small but rather loud part of your psyche hopes that they don't survive this raid, so you can take all their stuff for yourself. As the Tarkov tenants say, thou shall not covet thy squadmate's rifle. It's easy to get lost in your wishes while playing Tarkov. Wishing for certain items, a larger bank balance, wishing you had the skill of Shroud, the knowledge of Pestili, or the composure of Fair TX. And while they are all obviously great goals to have in your survival career, a raid spent wishing is a raid wasted. But as envious as you allow yourself to be, or as powerful as you become, remember in Tarkov it's not just the bigger fish you need to be wary of, it's also the little one looking at you through a scope from a bush. It is often said that pride comes before a fall, and in no game is that more true than this one. Once you're decked out in some of the finest clobber the Russian black market can offer, a weapon that costs more than my university debts, and a backpack larger than a London flat, it's easy to start feeling a little invincible. That you're the baddest thing to grace the rafters of this fine factory. But Tarkov has a grounding quality to it, and it will often hand out portions of humble pie like a grandma with a baking addiction. And don't be too proud to seek out help either. Many of my raids have only found success because I've used a map on the wiki to figure out where the hell I can escape to, as well as reaching out to friends and squad mates to watch my back or help me on a quest. It's perfectly fine to feel proud with a raid gone well, or a weapon that you've spent 30 minutes tinkering with and perfecting, but keep in the back of your mind that it could all be snatched away with the pull of a trigger. After all, the higher on your loot-covered pedestal you climb, the harder that fall will feel.
Now you may ask, what makes me so acutely aware of all these sinful wrongdoings? Well, that's because in the month-ish that I've been playing this game, I have done them all. I'm a huge sinner. I'm as sinful as they come. I've got my teammates killed by getting bloodthirsty, I've scrounged away rubles and rifle rounds, and I have indeed felt that very bitter pang of envy when I see what my squad mates discover in weapon crates. And for that, I will no doubt be sent to the very deepest depths of Tarkov Hell, destined to only ever loot tosses and PRS rounds for my plethora of sins.